Welcome back, guys, and a huge Happy New Year's to everyone. 2022, new crypto year, lots of big videos coming out this year, so there's a fair bit more planning to do, and I hope you guys have also got your goals set for 2022. Even if this crypto market goes quiet for a little bit, it's going to be a perfect time to get yourselves set, and that's what we're going to look at in today's video, looking at potential altcoins which would survive a bear market, you know, if Bitcoin and crypto goes a little quiet over the next weeks to months, uh, looking at those chart patterns as we always do, as they tend to give us the information before the news does. All right, so make sure you've smashed the likes, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, bell notification icon, and check out the links down below. Today's video is sponsored by Margex and Invictus Capital. I'll talk about those in just a, a moment, but uh, check out the links down below. Let's First start with the fear and greed, as we tend to do, especially at these times when the market is down and fearful. I'm looking at it, 21, not much else has changed, so I don't need to drag on with the fear and greed too much. We're at 21, yesterday 28, back down to 22. So extreme fear, and we're uh, mixing between that fear and extreme fear at the moment, even though Bitcoin and Ethereum are at some of their highest prices that they have been in their entire history. It is what it is. That's what happens in the markets. One thing I'm noticing with Bitcoin is this uh, this load of volume that's coming in. We are on Coinbase and the market isn't pushing up any higher. We've failed to get back above the 50%. You know, we've had the the daily close. We've had the we, uh, weekly close earlier this week. We had the monthly close and we had the yearly close just yesterday. And so we've seen this volume. None of this has actually pushed the market back above 49K, which is the first safe level. As you can see, we've got these targets up here. 54 is that number that I am still waiting for. So I've said that number since the 4th of December. If we can get above that, I think we're going to see a lot more energy and all of this excitement come back into the market. But until then, I think we're just going to keep uh, trekking around these levels and potentially even break down past this uh, 42k level. But I'm not concerned. The bull market is still intact until we break the 28k low but the the first level that we don't want to see broken for you know a prolonged period is that 39k low which came in on 21st of September so the uh, total market caps at the moment are sitting at 2.2 trillion so we're still at pretty high levels considering where we were uh, a year ago but of course we're in extreme fear Looking at some of these markets which will hold out during a, a bear market, of course, Ethereum, I think that should go without any say. I think Ethereum is here to stay and it has the potential to still flip Bitcoin when the market is quiet. You know, maybe Bitcoin's down for this next half of the year, 2022. Maybe it's not Bitcoin's turn, maybe it's Ethereum's turn. And, uh, you know, this is one of those markets which will probably continue to hold up as well. And it's why it's one of my major holdings and uh, a pretty good beta play on, on Bitcoin. Now, it has fallen underneath the 50% level. And you can see that the, the noise and the excitement, the energy has really been pulled out of the market. I don't see as many YouTube videos being done, you know, just looking at the market sentiment. Uh, I don't see as much getting pumped out there at the moment. People obviously taking holidays. The volumes are down over the, the break at the moment. Hopefully in the next week to two weeks, we'll start to see where uh, people are looking for, uh, where they think the market's going to go in the next sort of month to two months. Because right now it's just treading water until people come back from holidays and start to throw their money back into the market or pull it out of the market. We'll have to wait and see. Ethereum is at least just playing around with its higher 50% level because if we drag this back down to the lows of 1700 it's at 32 to 3300 and we're currently sitting at 3700 the pivot point down here on the weekly is uh, 2600 so we still got a bit of room to go before that one breaks down as well so ethereum is still looking stronger than bitcoin now before i look at uh, these other cryptocurrencies which look like they have that strong holdings to get us through any sort of sideways market. A shout out from our sponsor. That sponsor today is Margex. 20% bonus if you're looking to get a bonus on the cryptocurrencies that you deposit on the exchange. So this is an exchange that we've talked about a few times on the channel before. And uh, this is going for another nine and a half days or nine days, seven hours. So this is on 
new cryptos that they have launched on the exchange and you would get 20% bonus for any crypto that you deposit on that exchange. So you sign up, link is in the, the description down below, uh, make a deposit and then you get your bonus. So note with the bonuses though, it's used to pay for fees. So keep that in mind before you get overly excited, but definitely go and check that out if you're interested in these uh, bonuses and trading itself on this exchange here, Margex, which is uh, a no KYC exchange if you guys are interested in stuff like that. Back to ETH BTC, and the main thing I wanna look at here is this sort of pattern, because this is gonna be something that um, we, we look for in our altcoins to survive the bear market. So check out this thing down here. And this is over a very long period of time, okay? We got uh, late 2018, bringing us into March of you know 2021, March, oh, last year now. But the main thing here is that you wanna see a sideways, an accumulation, and then the higher lows and the breakout. So you probably, were, hopefully you're getting sick of me saying that because it's something that I just look at time and time again for an altcoin trade and for uh, a good potential for a mooning cryptocurrency. Now, it doesn't mean it has to happen that next week or next day or, or whatever, but as long as you're finding this sort of pattern in your markets, then you've got a much higher probability of that cryptocurrency surviving any sort of bearish you know, sentiment that's thrown at the market. So where are we seeing that on some of these cryptos? Cosmos has been one of those which I've gotten in, uh, gotten in a, into a trade and then gotten out of. And at the moment, it's starting to climb its way back. Now, this is on the dollar chart and you can just change these over or add in the BTC pair. And you can see the yellow line here, the gold line, it's starting to trend similar to what we're seeing on uh, what we saw on ETH BTC. You can see this accumulation sideways, high low, more high lows, more high lows. And if that's too much information for uh, for your eyes to take in, drop it back to a monthly chart. Now you're on a bigger time frame, which means the moves will be much bigger. Now, if the volume's getting in the way, you just remove the volume and you can really start to see that pattern playing out uh, over a longer span of time. So Adam on, this is it using the bar chart. So you can see it here, really just starting to wind its way up and get those higher lows. So let's use this, open this one up here and then use this here. You've got one low, the next lows, and then it looks like this is the next low that's been put in. So that's looking good so far. It just broke its 50% level and is attempting to close uh, in the next couple of days above that level there of 59,000 uh, 59, on the BTC. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the next 50% level, but it's gonna be the rejection 50% level or the, uh, let's see if we can get through the resistance. So that's the down range and you can see that the next level is 73 and it's just starting to hit that at the moment. So we've just dropped back to 72. So currently the high is 72.9, you know, 7, uh, 72,900. It's attempting to break above that. So hopefully at the end of the week it does do that and then you would really have a good solid project that's, um, it, it started to push its way above all of these resistance levels. On to the next one, and this is one of my favorites, which I've uh, mentioned to the members in Patreon. Again, link is in, in the top of the description to this. This was starting to break out, and we definitely saw this nice and early. Uh, it was another one that I was buying up earlier down here, but then sold out because you could see that this was potentially about to break down. So always have your stops in place as well. You'd probably get that feeling from the market this year if you haven't ever taken profits make sure you have uh, have that in your plan and then also have your stop loss just in case the market goes against you. You never wanna be holding these things as they tank all the way back down. But you can see now, while the market, uh, Bitcoin is not doing too much, the sentiment is down. There, it seems like a lot of people have left the markets, especially retail. You can see something like Curve against its Bitcoin value. It's just pushed a new new highs, new recent highs at 1200 or it should be 12,000 uh, looking at these numbers here. So as it pushes above the rest of the markets down, that to me is saying we've got quite a lot of build up here, higher lows and it's breaking out of these tops. So looking forward, I, th I do think Curve is, uh, it's got some big things to come 
thoughtful curve when I look at a chart like that after so much accumulation over the last year and a half. Uh, it's If it doesn't take off big, then something's wrong with the project fundamentally and it's got to absolutely crash. I think it's ready to do that now. And one final one, YFI. Now I've talked about DeFi potentially getting a nice big bumper run, uh, maybe in 2022, maybe later, but it didn't have its run in 2021. A lot of these peaked out in mid-2020 and they went on a huge bear market while everything else was going up. And this is because DeFi was building out a lot of different things. They were getting themselves set up, ready for that next stage. And uh, YFI is one of those one of those big projects that uh, took everyone by surprise. It was a few hundred bucks and then ran all the way up to uh, close to $100,000 if you look at it on the uh, USD chart here. So yeah, it, was, it started much lower than what it was here. This is just a few thousand dollars, but it was even cheaper than that. And it ran up to close to $100,000 because the supply is so small. There's only about 30,000 YFI uh, tokens. Uh, if we go back to the YFI BTC chart, you can see that similar sort of pattern. It's been dumped, get some higher lows involved and then start to make uh, the next higher low. And so we've just seen it bounce off this little uh, level here at 0.36 to 0.43. And within the news to Wi-Fi, they're changing up the tokenomics. And so as they do that, it looks like they are potentially uh, taking some Wi-Fi off the market every month, which means it's going to have a supply shortage and there already isn't that much supply of Wi-Fi. So this could be one of those big ones to watch as well uh, going into 2022. Now, if all of that is not your cup of tea and you want to just take things easier, check out one of our other sponsors on the channel today and this is Invictus Capital. We've talked about them quite a lot of times and the reason being is that they have their Crypto 10 hedge fund and what you can do is just own one of the C10 and within that C10 you, you uh, have a piece of all of these cryptos and USD and what it does is trade between uh, crypto and USD to ensure that you're holding the cryptocurrencies which are moving the most at that point in time. And so this is rebalanced on a weekly basis. So check out the link to Invictus Capital in the uh, description down below if you're interested in something more like a hedge fund which keeps you involved in the market and re reduces the volatility in your portfolio. So that's a look at the altcoins which I think will have a pretty good run even if Bitcoin goes stagnant and quiet. Reason being is that their Bitcoin charts are looking really solid and the accumulation looks like it's taken place over a long period of time. Curve is already showing that it is uh, looking like it wants to break out. And I, th I think if this was in a strong bull market, this would have taken off pretty quickly already. But nice thing that we aren't in a strong bull market just yet because it gives us more opportunities to be entering into the market. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.